Good morning and welcome to Class Worship with me, Reverend Lynn. This week we're continuing our theme of creation. We're looking at creation and diversity. How we are all created differently, but still made in the image of God. God created us male and female and everything in between. We are all created in God's image. We can celebrate our difference and diversity by using the different gifts and skills that God has given us. St Paul talks about these different skills in his letters. He talks of us all belonging to the body of Christ. There are many different members, but we are all part of the one same body. We were created to live and work in harmony, to take care of one another. Even the animal kingdom knows how to do this. And today we're going to listen to a story where we can learn from the bear. The Fox and the Bear, an Arabian fable. One day, a man wandered through a forest and came across an injured fox. The poor creature had been pursued by the huntsman and had broken its legs in an effort to escape. Now it lay in the undergrowth, helpless to find food. The man's heart went out to the fox. But as he watched, a grizzly bear loomed up out of the trees, dragging the carcass of an animal that it had killed. The bear appeared to ignore the presence of the wounded fox, but when it shuffled off again after its meal, it left the remains of the carcass close to where the fox was hiding. The fox devoured the meat avidly. The next day, the man walked through the forest again, and again, the bear left a tasty morsel behind for the hungry fox. And on the third day, the same thing happened. The man pondered hard over what he had seen. If God cares so much for a wounded fox, he thought, how much more will he care for me? My faith is far too feeble. I must learn to trust God, just as the fox trusts. So the man went into a quiet corner of the forest and prayed. Loving Father, this injured fox has shown me what it means to trust you. Now I too commit myself entirely to your care. I trust that you will care for me, just as you care for the fox. And with this, he lay down and waited for God to act. A day passed. Nothing happened. The man was getting hungry. A second day passed. And still nothing happened. The man was deeply puzzled. A third day passed and the man was angry. Father, he cried, you love that little fox more than you love me. Why won't you care for me when I trust you so much? Why don't you feed me? At last, hunger forced the man back into his town. There on the streets, the man came upon a starving child. And he railed on God in his rage. Why don't you do something? I have done something, God said. I have created you. But you choose to behave like the fox when you could model yourself on the bear. Just think for a moment about the bear. How did the bear act? The bear acted kindly. He left behind food for the fox so the fox could recover, while the man just watched. As the man went back into the town, he saw a hungry child. He expected God to feed the child. But God gives us all the resources we need to share with one another so that we can love and take care of one another. God's voice in that story saying, I created you. Put yourself in that picture. What can you do to love and support your friends and family? What are the gifts that God has given you? Have a think for a moment before we sing a song. You can see on the screen a little person template and I've written my name in mine. At the top of the page it says what are your own skills and gifts 
what makes you different to others. I thought really hard about the gifts and the things that I can do which make me different to everybody else. I can dance, but I can't sing very well. I listen carefully to others. I can cook. I'm a quiet person, but I'm confident. I'm calm and faithful, and I've got a vivid imagination. And I use all my skills to help others and look after the world. Your teacher may pause the video now and hand out some templates for you to fill in about your own skills and gifts. And you can think about what difference you can make to our world. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or pause or anything they got now. All God's creatures got a place in the choir. Some sing low and some sing higher. Some sing out loud on a telephone wire. Some just clap their hands or pause or anything they got now. Listen to the top where the little bird sings And the melodies and the high notes ringing And the hood all cries over everything And the blackbird disagrees Singing in the night time, singing in the day And the little duck quacks and he's on his way And the otter hasn't got much to say And the porcupine talks to himself All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now Dogs and the cats, they take up the middle Where the honeybee hums and the cricket fiddles The donkey prays and the bony neighs The old grey badger sighs Listen to the bass, it's the one on the bottom Where the bullfrog croaks and the hippopotamus Moans and groans with the big to-do And the old cow just goes moo All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands or paws Or anything they got now Simple song, a little song everywhere By the ox and the fox and the grizzly bear The dopey alligator and the hawk above The sly old weasel and the turtle dove All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands or paws Or anything they got now All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Clap their hands or paws or anything they got now All God's creatures got a place in the choir Some sing low and some sing higher Some sing out loud on the telephone wire Some just clap their hands or paws or anything they got now All God's creatures got a place in the choir When God created the earth, he created a beautiful, diverse environment for us all to live in there are mountains and there are valleys. There are deserts and there are rivers. There is snow, there is ice, there is sand, there is hot wind, there is cold wind. As we celebrate our own diversity in our humanity, we also celebrate the diversity of the place where we live. Our prayers this morning are going to be inspired by Psalm 104. There will be parts for you to join in with as well. You say the words on the screen. Holy One, I stand in awe of you. I am humbled by your majesty, yet I long to draw closer to you. Although I cannot comprehend your magnitude, the smallest detail of your creation reveals your wonder. I could marvel at your works, O God, one by one, all my days, and never reach an end. From the delicacy of a feather to the precision of a crystal, from the mysterious journey of the moon to the flight of the wild birds, how can such wonders exist except for a perfect mind first envisioning them? 
I could marvel at your works, O God, one by one, all my days, and never reach an end. When I look at the earth and out at the stars, the universe beyond us, all this must surely come from your desire to make something of unutterable beauty. Then I marvel at the trees and the plants, the diversity, the colours and scents, the food they yield, the little insects which love them, and I marvel at all your creatures, the interconnectedness of the great web of life, which surely owes its existence to you. Even the mountains, the forests and plains, the great oceans, all these things reveal the splendour of their creator. I could marvel at your works, O God, one by one, all my days, and never reach an end. You even made humanity, greatest of all, yet also most foolish and most able to do damage. This pristine earth that you have made, most capable, most intelligent and loving, but also most self-serving and unwilling to consider the consequences of our destructive acts. I could marvel at your works, O God, one by one, all my days, and never reach an end. Yes, if you made this universe, you made us too, and love us as you love the whole. So let us learn to humble ourselves before our Maker, to submit ourselves to wisdom's voice, aligning ourselves to the way you want humanity to live, that we may play our part in this, your world, as lovers of peace and caretakers together of this living jewel. I could marvel at your works, O God, one by one, all my days, and never reach an end. Amen.